Today it's the Nadal Djokovic rematch at the semi final stage. The world number one from Belgrade won their only encounter so far this year, ending the Spaniards' eight year reign on the Monte Carlo clay. However, in this event, Nadal has raised his game as the temperature has climbed. It's going to be a must see match with no one confident of the outcome. For me, it's not a dream. I prefer an easier opponent, <laughs> but uh, but this is always interesting to play against against Novak. No, I think he's playing great. I think I played uh, very bad first couple of matches. That's my feeling. Uh, but but I am improving during the tournament. I play it a little bit better every day. And the round of 16 against Nishikori was an important improve for me. And I started to to manage very well all the all the aspects of the of the game and all the things that makes me play well. So that's a fantastic new for me, and for sure, being semi in finals is a, is a very advanced round, so it's a, it's a really great new. These kind of matches are always special because uh, you know that if you are not playing at your best, you will not have chances, and playing against Novak is, is always a special feeling because we played so many times. We, you know, he beat me a lot of times, I beat him a lot of times too, and uh, that makes the, the match interesting and will be a, uh, a difficult battle hopefully for both of us, um, I hope to play my best match. Well, Nadal talks about they've played one another a lot of times, they sure have. This is the 35th meeting between Djokovic and Nadal, and at the moment Nadal leads 19 to 15. aggression he's timing the forehand pretty well and this is what the the warmer conditions uh how they affect nadal's play <laughs> that one he just didn't have enough and applause from djokovic they've played one another Many times he knew where that was going, but it was just too good no, no. a shot. He's out of camera range when he hits this, and he threads the needle very low over the net, cross court, good angle. Well, a great recovery from Nadal. Djokovic saw him hesitate, nearly stumbled in this one here. He barely get out of the way, so he's forced to go to the forehand, but it's not anywhere near close enough to the line. 
stumbles here and watch how balanced he is when he makes this shot just knows it's right there in the slot 40 15 set points Serve into the body, moving into the body. Djokovic couldn't control it, so it's Nadal. Nadal. First blood, first set. Six games to four. These fellows got great respect for one another, but I'm Zero sure counts. Djokovic had a few quiet words to himself when this one went in. Him accordingly, but it is Nadal who has the break. Seven, three, two. Job on the volley there. He really knew too much about this one when he moves in. Avantage, Djokovic. Didn't really get down to it, but the racket head stays firm, plays the drop volley. Didn't bend the knees too much, but uh, just enough that Nadal couldn't do anything with it when he got there. Djokovic in that rally. Crowd reaction, this one is now 5 3. Djokovic serving to even it up. Well, I think you're a, a, a wise man, Fred Stolli, because that uh, at 30 love, Rafa missed the first serve, and uh, the ability by Djokovic to step on the second serve, and I think that just created the momentum for him in that game. Djokovic. These guys know one another so well, they respect one another. It's just who is just that little bit better on the day and comes up with some miraculous shots. Kenza. Always entertaining. patient he hit the flat one he hit the off one the last one had a lot of heavy topspin on it 
as it comes right Goal. under the line. Taps his heart, say, well, I'm in this, and he is. It's one set apiece. everything in this so I'm just thinking Mark Woodford that this is now a contest because both boys are now middling the ball for a set in a bit it was Nadal and Djokovic Gary not Neville. so good and then Djokovic came through and now this this is just perfect stuff now this is top class top shelf Set point number three. Lovely. There's a point penalty. Lovely. Well, you know, the crowd, oh, they're not happy, but it, it's got to be done. has to be done. They make the rules. They have to abide by them. Good call. They don't understand the rules. Third set to the seven time champion here, Rafael Nadal, and he now leads two sets to one. gets uh, a partial standing ovation anyhow and lots of effort put in there Just fly off the line.
Count. Just haven't been able to make enough of these today. Djokovic still facing a break point. Well, that one's long and he frames it so. Djokovic in trouble, Nadal with that break at 4-3 in the fourth set, leading two sets to one. Meets this one very early, this and gets a great yeah, angle. But you know what, Fiery? There wasn't a lot of bounce off of the Nadal forehand. We've seen so much kick from that wing from Nadal in this match. Break points 15 40. He's missed it. Quite an incredible turnaround here. A shank return from. Djokovic takes Nadal out of the court. court back end and certainly some eyes that uh, that's ignited his improved play that happened a few matches ago a backhand cross court was in working order then but he Played with purpose, this one from Nadal. Rolls it there, three-quarter court. And he takes the wrists. at when Uncle Tony yelling his support he's a long way away Nadal, great serve once more in this set as he takes the two towels through the changeover and he leads 6-5, two sets to one. winning shot all day forehand down the line by Nadal and there was a big effort in that rally you could hear from his grunting 15 all Pretty 
quick to pull the trigger Tom there, Gates. and it's on the line, 30-15. Djokovic camp, it's 5 all. gamble he uh, held his ground covered the, the line the number of times he's been burnt by Rafa's incredible cross-court pass slice and that shows you that he's a little uptight and it hasn't fooled Djokovic all day. This one here, he's, Djokovic waits for it, waits for it, it's a slower bounce, comes a lot slower off the court and he's all over it. from Nadal up the other end to see how Djokovic Six is travelling. Right now he's travelling pretty well. 6-3. He's got three set points in this tiebreak. Great serve out wide. Took his man off the court, but it was an awesome return by Nadal. Gutsy forehand, as you said, Fred. Not an easy smash. That took an what? awkward bounce. It just hung up in the air. Rosy conditions. Seven six. We're heading all the fifth set, folks. Must have been a couple of calls at the back of the court there where they may have thought the ball was out. Some of the uh, spectators calling. It was not. And there's a reaction from Djokovic. One love, final set, service break. Depth there, another Djokovic one down here. 
Great shot again from Nadal. And then he's got to do it again off the back foot. Creates the angle. But these guys are fatiguing as well when they can play. It's like the, the more fatigue, it just lifts the level. To love. Well, he's hit a number of winners in this game, Rafa, and he still hasn't clinched it. It's one of those things where Djokovic went back into there Djokovic five or six times and then he finished up painting the line. It's 3-2. take when you go back there the backhand has been pretty tentative like this he's playing that one safely not the oh, forehand God. though is a correct call though if you touch the neck before the ball bounces not it's not there if he hits it but if it hasn't bounced the second time the ball is still alive Djokovic is trying to argue that uh, the ball was outside of the court and that is totally irrelevant. It has to bounce twice for the ball to be considered dead. And in an effort to try and finish this point off, I mean, if he just let that bounce, <laughs> Rafa knows what the rule is. Just have to hesitate a little. Thirty fifteen now, and I'm just happy to keep that last rally going. Got three. <laughs> it's in. Total miss hit, and it goes in the court. Unbelievable. That's a forehand that's played after four hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> oh, this is a winner that Djokovic hits here. Can't well, he thought it might have been. He never even took a step. Look. One step.
another Cold zero. incredible winner from Nadal. Doesn't let the ball come to him. Nadal had given that away because he played the between the leg shot and that if he thought he'd done anything, if he wanted to play it up, he'd have been he'd have basically given it away and Djokovic misses the overhead. Djokovic wanting Pascal Maria to make a decision on the court surface. He said it's very slippery. He said get out and check it for yourself behind the baseline how slippery it is. And we mentioned a few games ago that uh, Djokovic I think requested for the court to be watered again to basically stop it from being as slippery behind the baseline. But of course that can't happen as Mark Woodford said you've got to come out there and oh, bag the court to take away the marks and then water and that conversation is still ongoing as well not necessarily between Djokovic but uh, Pascal Maria is on the walkie-talkie to Stefan France and the, the referee that might have been that may have been why Stefan France came, came out, out and spoke to Djokovic we were wondering why that happened a couple of games ago and I think they just finished the conversation saying that the court guy doesn't think the court needs watering either Merci. Retrieving the skills from the Spaniard, unbelievable. Zero counts. Threw up that very, very high lob. Under the gun, he's made Djokovic play four or five pretty tough overheads the last few games. That's going to take it out of him. Lob 15. Good serve, and he took the chance to come in. Wasn't a, a great approach shot down the centre third of the court. Zero goals. Rafa still having to stretch. But boy, he finds the corner. I think Djokovic had a play and just pulled back from it. Love 30. <laughs> that might just about do it. That is three match points now for... Djokovic, Uncle Tony's out of his seat. He's jumping up and down. Zero counts. That will do it. Rafael Nadal no, no, no. is through to deux. yet another six French six final. Six, 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 what an six, effort six. from these boys. Novak Djokovic, his dream will have to wait for another year. But a fabulous no, no, no. effort. I, I mean, it's just amazing. It, it took a, a superhuman effort. And Nadal, I, I don't think we should ever question his fighting ability. Absolutely amazing. A reverse of what happened at the Australian Open. And Nadal moves through to a, another final. And boy, it is going to take a Superman effort, regardless of his opponent, come Sunday. But what a classy act, though, to Nadal. After all that, he goes out and he gets the accolades from the crowd and then points to Djokovic. Et tout le monde est en compagnie de Novak Djokovic. Uncle 
Tony applauding Djokovic, Nadal applauding Djokovic, and these boys obviously got a standing ovation when this one finished. We feel a, a lot of emotion in your eyes, in your voice, because you served for the match in a fourth set. You were down the break in the fifth, and you fight and you fight, and finally you make it. Yes, it's the only way. No, you know how how good player is. It's Novak. He's a fighter, and you, you know that when I was serving for the match with the six five in the in the fourth, I was serving against the win. No? So I know that was going to be a, a tough game because Novak always in the. In the difficult moments, he, he puts one more ball inside, and he, he has this special uh, this special feeling in these very tough moments. You know? So I was ready for the fight. I was a little bit lucky in that uh, in that uh, game in the 4-3. But uh, I think I I I really fight it a lot in in Australia in 2012 was similar match, and then he won. Today was was me. That's the the good thing about the sport. Sometimes one, sometimes others, and that makes the sport very big. Absolutely match to be part of, but uh, you know, all I can feel now is disappointment. That's it. And, uh, I congratulate my opponent because he showed the courage in the right moments and uh, went for his shots. And, uh, you know, when he was break down in the fifth, he made some, some incredible, incredible uh, shots from the baseline. And I, I congratulate him because. Uh, je that's why he's a champion, that's why he's been, he's been ruling the Roland Garros for many years. And, uh, and for me, moi, it's, uh, it's another another year. Year. What, what makes... Je répète same, à chaque fois la même chose, mais... Day, you know, but what makes the... the Pourquoi this match, match est intéressant? Pourquoi ces matchs classic, sont intéressants? Match Pourquoi ces matchs sont classiques? Parce que nous jouons à ces matchs à des moments importants. In, in Situations for both of our nous careers sommes dans des situations happen at the same with, with Roger très particulières. You know, like Ça avait été le cas you know, avec Roger, c'est aussi le cas avec Novak. Us, so Donc ces matchs suscitent l'intérêt. Ces matchs match sont spéciaux pour, pour les joueurs et pour le public. Ces matchs deviennent a, a classic des match. classiques du genre. Et j'espère que j'aurai la possibilité de pratiquer ce sport pendant des années encore. Et j'espère qu'on continuera à avoir une belle rivalité avec Novak.